Hey guys, how's it going? So I successfully got my uh, first FBA video uploaded to my channel last night, so that was good. That's the first time I've recorded one during the day and then got it uploaded that night. So maybe my setup will work to where I can continue that. Uh, I'm actually today headed to another job. I've got a drywall job to do this afternoon, but I gotta drop off this FBA shipment on the way. And I wasn't actually going to get everything put in last night because I've got a couple things ordered that's gonna make things easier. But I just ended up having some time last night. And my son and I just knocked it out, get them out of here so they're on the way making money. Uh, the other bonus I got is I got a message from Amazon saying, hey, you have this item is out of stock and it sold good and it was the best price. We need more. And it was actually an item that I was able to source for originally 348. Last night I got it for 303 online and it sells for $13. So if that one continues, um, that may be my first item that I have to constantly replenish, which would be nice. So I'm gonna pull in here to my UPS store and drop these two boxes off. And then I will be right back with y'all. UPS store's starting to get to know me pretty good already. Don't even ask if I need a receipt, I go into the counter and they instantly give me one. So anyway. Um, yeah, so the big thing I wanted to talk about real quick, because I'm probably not going to have um, much, any videos about picking anything up today. Oh, I will say one thing. So, uh, these dog treats, the rest of them I all shipped in. These, these ones though, um, screwed up fortunately it's at a place I can take them back um, so what you have to watch for and you just have to be real diligent on this um, is double check that listing you can get excited and you can get lackadaisical I guess is a word for it um, like I said before dog treats I know I've gotten a lot of them I've sent in a ton and I can find them couple different stores big lots is one of them um, and I did find some that were really good yesterday uh, those particular ones those pedigree dentist sticks for the small dogs the listing I pulled up was for a box of two um, so and I didn't see that when I was scanning it I didn't pay attention to it so those went from looking like they were gonna make a couple dollars a box, which was okay, to I was gonna lose like 12 cents on the deal. So it's not worth sending them in. Um, so I'm gonna, fortunately, like I said, it's big lots, so I, I'll just take them back. Um, I was looking to see if I bundled them, if I could do it, and if I bundled them together, I could have broke even, but again, it's just, I needed, I wanna check one of my other big lots maybe on my way back today and so I'll just return them and I'll get get something else so um, watch that because sometimes that UPC is entered in there and it is for a you know two pack or a four pack or you know it can be for any size so make sure it's the right quantity um, or you could be you know making a buy that doesn't work out especially if it's somewhere where you can't return it um, the other thing that I messed up on that I mentioned before uh, was when I set up, when I first got started, uh, he, uh, Amazon makes it really easy to just uh, grab your the app and just go. You can just start scanning. So as long as you have a seller account, the app is free with it, even if you're doing the basic account where you pay 99 cents for sale. Um, if you're gonna do any type of volume, it's better to do the pro account. It ungates you from a couple things, which I'll talk about ungating in the next video. Um, but it also 
um, is cheaper because if you're going to do more than 40 items a month, then you're going to be, you know, saving money anyway. So if you're just doing this really part-time, really starting, you might get a month without doing the pro account. Um, but then in general, I would think it's going to be better to just go with the pro account and kind of move on from there. So um, the thing to watch out for on the app though is the app by default, all the settings are for merchant fulfilled. And the fees are obviously a lot less on those because um, you're doing the shipping and you're doing the customer service. Amazon isn't doing it for you. So they charge less because essentially all they're doing is advertising for you. You're using their platform, but they're doing, you're doing all the work. So um, that is a good way to do a couple of things. Uh, maybe bigger items where the shipping is going to be bad. If you can get a good deal, you know they're going to sell quick and you want to ship them yourself, you know, maybe list them that way. Um, there are some hazmat items that you can ship ground, but you can't ship air. So therefore, they're not eligible for Prime. Um, but they are eligible for Merchant Fulfill. So you can Merchant Fulfill those items. And if I would have known about that, um, there's been a few items that I found uh, that I might have picked up and done Merchant Fulfilled on because the margins are pretty good. I'm not going anywhere right now, so I might be able to move through. But my main goal with FBA is uh, I'm looking for ways to have passive income, and my job right now is really physical. So, hope my camera's not being super shaky. Um, and because of that, uh, I'm trying to get where I'm not as dependent on that because if I get hurt or something, I'm, I'm done. So, I'm trying to get the passive income going so to help get some bills paid off, but then also to just make it more flexible in the future. And I'm gonna be doing other things in order to get that. Uh, I'm working on a couple of websites. I already do some Amazon affiliate marketing and you know little things like that. But those, if you're going for growth that's, what do they call it, organic, organic search growth, um, they don't happen overnight. You can buy traffic and then they start working right away. You see these get rich quick guys on, on YouTube and on other internet sites that say, you know, oh, well, when you start a website, you can have it making, you know, $5,000 a week the next, you know, in a, in a week. I'm not saying it's not possible, but I don't know how much traffic you have to buy to get that to happen. So that's not the route I'm going. Uh, I'm working on a couple sites that are just real informative, have good information, have good recommendations. I haven't hired out any of the content, so I'm doing all the content, so that's taking some time. Uh, I will hopefully eventually get some collaborators to do some content, but that's kind of where I'm at with that. So I'll continue to do FBA even through that, but the, the beauty of FBA, and I may have mentioned this in my video is last week uh, my wife and son and I we went to Seattle for a trip and uh, my son really wanted to go on the Seattle Great Field I think Ferris Wheel and I was just bored the, the views from the top were kind of cool but the rest of it was just boring a lot of other stuff's cool in Seattle but I'm not big on a Ferris wheel so anyway I pull up my app and I see that, you know, I've got almost $100 in sales for the day. And all these items were shipped and all these items were pending. And, you know, it's showing my, um, you know, my payment. I don't know if I said 100 items, $100 in sales. So I had like 12 items. And that I was out of stock on an item that actually sold really well that we found. 
it was from a place I could order it online and we're going to be home in two days. So I popped up my phone, I resupplied my place online and went back to having fun and went and had seafood for lunch. So I was able to just, and that's really all the work I did that whole trip. There was a couple of places that were having clearance deals where I was attempting to source when I was on vacation, but I didn't find anything that was worth packing home on the plane. So. But it just gives you the flexibility because you don't have to do the customer support. You don't have to do the shipping. It's all done for you by Amazon. So you just find the products, supply the products, and then you're done. Um, they sell them, and as long as you make good decisions, you make money. I think all the stuff I did yesterday, I didn't. I gotta take these back. So I didn't put those in. Um, my buy cost was $217 um, and after fees and everything my profits are like $385 so uh, not too bad I mean there's people out there doing a lot better but I'm just starting so not too bad um, real quick I'll cut this off before this video gets too long um, I don't think I'm gonna make a getting started series because I am I, I'm doing this series to kind of take everybody through the process what I'm doing and how following what I've learned online and what I've been able to learn online for free I call myself a YouTube scholar a lot of things I've wanted to learn I've learned off of YouTube FBA has been another one of those things uh, there's a couple sites I linked in my last video couple channels uh, so shout out to Adam at uh, Homemade Entrepreneur he has a great series he does a lot of stuff uh, for passive income online and then also uh, Lifestyle Warrior Chaz over there uh, he's got a great series of I will make the series and I will make a playlist on my channel with his YouTube videos on getting FBA started for beginners. It tells you the items he recommends. They're all from Amazon, believe it or not. And if you go there, use his affiliate links. I've got my own affiliates. He made that video. Use his affiliate links. Yep. He gives you some tips that they're gonna save you some time. A couple things that will save you some time if you start doing this. So use his affiliate links to buy those items. Um, help support him and, and him continuing to make that content to teach others. Uh, he also recommends some software that will help you out if you go kind of volume-wise first. Uh, and then he talks about some of the pitfalls, which if I would have had his video a couple of weeks earlier, I wouldn't have made that mistake where I didn't change the settings for FBA Fulfilled, and I wouldn't have lost money or broke even on about 30 items so I will link his videos like I said I'll make a playlist on my channel as well if you want to go through them that way uh, to see his YouTube his series on getting started so keep it up out there and we will talk to you guys soon